This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Oh, this thing's got speed! Oh. This thing's got speed! <laughs> so cool! Whoa! This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. This is insane. But it's really... Oh, it's too good. I won't be able to stop. <laughs> oh no. Oh. No, mate. No, I don't like this. You okay? Good morning from Pokhara. We have made it to the tourist capital of Nepal. But if you're new here, let me catch you up. After arriving in Kathmandu, we had the most phenomenal time meeting the most incredible locals. Namaste. Namaste. And trying the most epic, authentic street food. We then took the in most incredible mountain flight to see Mount Everest for the first time. Pokhara is about 200 kilometers just west of Kathmandu and we came on a 10 hour grueling bus ride to get here. It was one of the bumpiest bus rides of my entire life and I'm still waiting for my brain to stop jiggling. Where we're walking right now is the main strip that goes straight through Pokhara. It's a really touristy vibe. There are so many tourist shops, restaurants, cafes. This is the home of rafting, trekking. You can see the most gorgeous views. It's because it's a lakeside town. There are nine lakes that surround Pokhara, but the main one being Fewa Lake, which we're gonna go to and show you right now. You can see the most gorgeous views of Annapurna, which is the 10th highest mountain in the world and Machapuchere, which is called fishtail. Fun fact about Machapuchere, no one has ever summited Machapuchere. As you can see, it's got a really pointy top. The government does not allow anyone to reach the peak because it's seen in Nepali culture as the god of Shiva or the home of the god of Shiva. So we're going to find out more about Pokhara today. We're going to explore, we're going to eat, we're going to see as much as we can. Let's get started. Already from our first impressions of Pokhara, it's a completely different vibe from Kathmandu. We're not feeling like it's as chaotic, like you're about to get run over by a motorcycle any second. Oh my God. Wow. But it is super like chilled, laid back, serene, and I think that's why it's called the tourist capital. This is the place. So we're gonna go and check out the lake because I wanna go on one of those boats. Absolutely. We made it to Fairwa Lake and it's really beautiful. But what I noticed is that there's all sorts of boats that you can rent. You can rent a paddle boat, you can rent a paddle board, a sailboat, a rowboat. So we kind of have a choice, but I really want to get on the lake. It looks so inviting and the weather is perfect. It's the perfect day to go boating. We can even see there's a pagoda up here. There's kind of like a walkway all the way up and down the lake. And, wow, <laughs> were you dancing in the back? No. Oh. <laughs> row, row, row Almost your there. boat, gently down Fairway Lake, switch your paddle and there's my friend on Fairway Lake. There's a beautiful walkway right all along the river. And as you walk, there are some shops, some restaurants, cafes. cafes. Oh, Pokhara Doggo. Pokhara Doggo. Oh. oh, he wants more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lobes. So this really gives you an idea of what Pokhara is all about. You can see behind me some of the mountains. So what you can do is you can hire a different kind of boat for an hour or for the whole day, in fact. So we're going to do that now. Maybe we're going to go back into a town, get some good food, some local Nepali food that you can get only here in Pokhara. And then behind me, this big mountain here, you can actually take a cable car all the way to the top. So later this afternoon, we're going to go and do that. And then you'll be able to see a full view of the whole of Pokhara. How much to rent for one hour? One hour with driver or no? No driver, no we can driver. drive. 530. 550 rupees. Yeah. Is this the one? No, no, blue one. Ah. Oh. So first we need to get a life jacket. And a ticket. And a ticket. 
Here's the ticket counter. Very official. Hello, namaste. Five fifty for one hour. But that's with no driver, so we have to do all the hard work. Okay, come to the same place. Perfect. Thank you so much. So there they are, getting our little blue boat for us. Oh, we get to row in Fairway Lake in that's Nepal. Cool. That's amazing. Ready. I can jump. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm in. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in one hour. See you in one hour. Woohoo! Here we go boating. Woo. Wow, this is so cool. We're on a lake. Where do we go? Who knows? <laughs> This is so awesome! I mean, I can't believe how much magical scenery we are surrounded by. We've got Annapurna right behind us. It's hiding right now behind a cloud. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I feel like this is super special and we're super lucky that we get to do this here in Nepal. Absolutely magnificent. And there's not many boats out here. We kind of feel like it, we're the only people going on this beautiful lake and it's so peaceful. Row, row, row your boat Gently down Fairway Lake You're doing a good job. Should I also paddle? Yeah, you can join. Oh, look at me, rowing! I need like to get the technique going. Ugh. It's kind of hard. You need like a lot of arm strength. How do you do this? This is really a best way to appreciate how beautiful Pokhara is. It just doesn't feel like we're in Nepal because we're used to Kathmandu and the city and obviously you just think of the mountains. But to have this beautiful lake and we're surrounded by green luscious mountains. Ah, this is hard. So what's happening here? Well, I've seen all the other boat drivers sit on top. Got my own personal boat driver. We're definitely getting a really good first impression of Pokhara so far. If this is what I get to do, I'm really happy. Row, row. <laughs> when do we swap? Today is actually our month anniversary, and we normally don't share that on YouTube, but every single month that we've been together, we celebrate. But it's just our little secret now that we're sharing it with you. This is one of the best ways to celebrate that, I think. These are the moments that we look forward to. This is definitely a highlight. That was one of the coolest things that we've done here in Nepal. I think it was definitely one of my best highlights. <laughs> Absolutely. But now we're hungry after paddling for an hour. My hands are so yeah. sore. So we're going to go and find some yeah. local Nepali food. Hopefully we can find something that they only eat here in Pokhara. Yeah. try some authentic Nepali cuisine and what better way to do that than overlooking the street while we do so. Uh, just one yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have got our very own Nepali tali set which we're gonna try for the first time. I really love the presentation of it. You got your rice smack bam in the middle then you've got the dal which is piping hot and then on the outer ends we've got some yogurt we've got our papadams we've got a veggie curry some mixed veg and some pickle the dried version of this so it's like dried veg and drier veg <laughs> how we have to eat it is put a little hole in the middle of the rice just like that then we're gonna put our dal in the middle of the rice. I made a mess. <laughs> and then you eat it like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna have the dal with the rice. Yum. 
Mmm. Mmm. It's worth a second bite. Mmm. Oh, it's too good. I won't be able to stop. <laughs> oh no. Mmm. Anything veggie here is the best. So if you're in Nepal, order everything veggie. Don't order the meat. Just the veg is so good. So for people that don't know what dal is, it's a lentil soup. And here in Nepal, it is some of the best dal that we've had. And always we like to mix it with the rice. And what I love about the tali set is there's so many different ingredients and you kind of feel like you can make it to your liking. So maybe I want it more spicy or, or maybe I want more veg, more rice, more dal. Mush okay. it all together. Or I just, that's normally what I do is I mush it all together. Oh, it's so good. So we're gonna devour this plate and mush everything up together and then we're going to our next part. So now we saw that there is a cable car that you can go all the way up to the top to see the valley. So let's go and see if we can maybe... Well, actually we saw that there was a free shuttle bus so we're going to try and get that to go to the cable car. Okay, so we have made it all the way up the hill to the cable car. We didn't actually find the shuttle bus, so we took- That's the shuttle bus behind us. Yeah, there's nobody in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it, so let's go get the tickets and I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like up there. Oh, it's so beautiful up here. Thank you. So we have just bought our tickets, which were, as a foreigner, we pay nine dollars each. So it's about a thousand two hundred each. Apparently, there are fourteen gondolas or cable cars to get to the top, and it's a two point three kilometer ride all the way up the mountain, and then we'll be able to see the whole valley. So let's go. Notice how it says foreign, foreign, on it. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Ooh, there's the cable car. It's kind of fancy. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Slow and steady. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. It's kind of crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's like from side to side. Really fancy. It's got really nice cushioning. I'm giving you like a hug tour or a gondola tour, if you will. But all I can say is that it's super fancy. Oh, we're taking off. Oh, this thing's got speed. Whoa. This thing's got speed. <laughs> oh my god, it's okay, no, flying. This is way scarier than I thought. Okay. 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 It's, it's settled a bit. Okay, we're settled. It's just Look. acceleration. Okay. <gasps> Even I was gasping. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god, look out. <laughs> look behind you, the mirror is so good. Okay, past the the green stuff. Look at the view behind you there. So that's where we're going. But look at the view that you have. Are you holding on? I'm not holding. <laughs> we're going to go higher now. This is unreal though. Wow. Look at where we're going. And there's a, a friend. Someone's coming down. Oh no, no one's coming down. Go. Oh dear. It's a little scary. It is a little scary. <laughs> it's a little scary. I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shake. This is actually this is so cool. Whoa, look at that. Look at that view. That's unbelievable. So right down there is Fairway Lake, which we were. And then there is the city of Pokhara, <gasps> which we were earlier. We're super high up! Slightly nerve-wracking. Slightly. But it's really... <gasps> it's really fun. I was about to say it's really fun. But I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty high. It's okay if I look this way. But if I look there... Oh my goodness. Wow. Why is it slowing down? You alright? <laughs> I'm not gripping your life. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so for some reason we've stopped. And you can see everyone else has stopped as well. So, I'm not uh, sure. Is this where we're spending the day? Or uh, <laughs> is that the end? You okay? Slight intermission. Please hold. Oh. oh. <laughs> We're okay, we're on the move again. Please don't stop again because that was horrific. As it stopped, it was like swinging back and forth. Wow. Oh my word. It's just going higher and higher. This is a pretty long cable car. Yeah, we've been in here for a couple minutes. Oh, oh lord, this is a scary one. Oh, no, oh, mate. No. no, I don't like this. I don't know if I like this or not. But it's really high. I, I am not scared of heights, but this is terrifying. This is our final destination. So we can actually see all of the rolling mountains around us and, and the rivers down there, but now we're arriving. Wow, really impressed to be honest. Whoa. Thank you. Wow. wow, oh ground, ground feels so good. As you get to the top of the cable car, there's a little bit of a village. There's some restaurants and cafes, but there's this viewpoint. There's a sign to a viewpoint. So we're following, we're on a bit of a hike. We didn't plan on going hiking today, but here we go. I didn't think I'd be hiking today, but so, yeah. we're just kind of following the lighted footpath. Wow, you wouldn't believe that the Himalayas are so far behind these clouds here. I don't know if you can see, but just above those clouds are the peaks of the Himalayas. That's Machaputre, which is only 6,900 meters. So still maybe 2,000 meters shorter than Everest. But we can see it all the way from Pokhara and it's still maybe four or five mountain ranges away. We're so high up and the mountain is still so much higher. We're at one and a half thousand meters and that's almost seven thousand. So we've literally spent, I don't know, about an hour just trying to look for some of the Himalayan range. And we were so lucky because they just jutted out of the clouds just a little bit, just so they can come and say hi to us. Pokhara really, really impressed me. I can't tell you how surprised I am. I really, really didn't expect to see such incredible views all in one day. It's one of those moments where we just pinch ourselves and we cannot believe that we get to do this and that's because of you guys watching so when we have a moment like this we want to thank you yes <laughs> for allowing us to come up here this is insane it's unbelievable but it's unbelievable in person so if you ever come to nepal don't skip pokhara it's really worth it So we've come now to this coffee shop called Himalayan Java, which I think is the perfect way to end off our day now that we've come back down the mountain, back into town. We've got a few crazy adventures that we want to do here in Nepal, so make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And since we're here, this is the perfect time for us to sit, have a tea, 
and work on our website. We wanted to thank Squarespace for helping us create our own bold and dynamic online platform. Squarespace is an all-in-one, easy-to-use platform with award-winning templates, simple click and drag, edit and amend as you like. You're able to create your dream website. We want to communicate better with you through members-only content. Send us a quick email on our contact page and check out our brand new merchandise line. You need a website if you're a small business owner or an influencer writing a blog. And with Squarespace, you can design your website in minutes. So when you're ready, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash 7dev for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain.